What's going on everybody? Welcome to the image processing with Python. So previously we have seen binary image segmentation with OTSUS thresholding. In that, we basically select the threshold value where within class variance is low, right? Now in this video, we are going to apply some morphological operations in binary images. We'll see dilation and erosion in this tutorial. I'll also tell you about opening, closing, corner detection and center detection in upcoming videos. So what is dilation and erosion? In simple terms, dilation adds pixel to the boundary and erosion removes the pixel from the boundary. Now the next question is why we use it? So dilation helps to make object more visible and it also helps to fill the holes if present in the image. While with erosion, we can break the connectivity between two objects. So suppose if we have one object like this and other object is like this. So let me first fill it. And by mistake, there is some connectivity between two these two objects. And our task is to define these two objects separately. So we have to perform erosion before using connectivity technique to recognize these both objects, right? So with erosion, we will break this bond. We will implement in code. Okay. And yeah, how much pixels are going to be added and removed? It will totally depend upon the kernel. So now let me show you one animation so you can have a clear idea about it. Here we have image and structuring element or kernel. And I also told you about image pixel reduction if we not add the image. So if the image size is 5 cross 5 and the kernel size is 3 cross 3, then we'll get our output image 3 cross 3. So the condition for erosion is that all the pixel in image, I mean this 3 cross 3 window should be matched with this kernel. If it do match, then we'll put 1 in the output image, otherwise 0. So now let's place the kernel here okay so you can see here not all the pixels are matching i think total 5 out of 9 pixels are matching so we'll put 0 here okay now same will be in this case so here also there is partial match so i'll put 0 here but now you can see that all the 9 pixels in the image are matching with kernel so we'll put 1 here so let's repeat the same process for all the pixels. So 0, again 0. Here, none of the pixels are matching with kernel. So we'll definitely put 0 here. Again 0, 0. But here, all the pixels are matching with kernel. So I'll put 1 here. I hope you get it. Repeat if you didn't. Now let's move forward with dilation. It is the same with erosion, but conditions are opposite. So means here, if all the pixels don't match, then zero, otherwise we'll put one in every case. So as I've discussed before, there are total five pixels are matching with kernel. So we'll put one here. Also one here, all the pixels are matching. So we'll definitely put one here, again one. Again one, but here none of the pixels are matching with this kernel. So we'll have to put here a zero. We'll put, there is partial match, so I'll put one here. Again one, and again one. Okay, that's it. That's all we do in dilation and erosion. Now let's actually implement it through code. So first import necessary libraries. So import numpy as np and from cv2 import cv2. Okay, now let me show you the image which I'm going to use for the erosion operation. So let's define original variable, write cv2 dot im read and the image name is erosion dot jpg. And let me show you the image. So the figure name is original and the variable is original. 
and let's write cv2 dot wait key so whenever i press the zero all the figure window will be closed so let's hit the run button so you can see that there are two objects this and this and there is connectivity between these two objects so at the end of the erosion we'll see that this all connectivity will be removed okay now the image is three channel okay and we are going to perform a binary operation so we need to convert this three channel to one channel and then gray to binary right so let's first convert into a gray so let me comment this first and write gray is equal to cv2 dot convert color okay the image name is original and write cv2 color bgr to gray okay now we have successfully converted our three channel image to one channel now let's convert it into a binary so there is two option so you can use otsus thresholding or you can define a manual threshold value for binary conversation so i'm going to define a manual threshold value so right and this is our image binary so cv2 dot threshold the image name is gray threshold value i will define 127 total value 255 and write method cv2 dot threshold binary okay let's see how the image look like so write cv2 dot i am show binary okay so this is the original image and this is the binary image you can see that there isn't any changes but the array was three dimension array but this array is one dimension array okay now let's define a filter shape okay so i'm going to define seven cross seven filter so filter is that's it now let's define the shape of the image and the shape of the filter because we will need it so right s is equal to binary dot shape and f equal to filter dot shape okay so let me change it to bna bna okay so as i told you we are going to match this kernel with the image but the image is in form of 0 or 255 right so we need to convert a range 0 to 255 to 0 to 1 okay so how to do that simply write binary divide by 255 that's all okay so as i told you earlier if we do not pad the image, the output of the image will be reduced by some pixels. So I already discussed uh, how to do a zero padding in my mean, median and mode filter video. So if you haven't watched that video, go and check out. So let's define the size of the output image. I already discussed this part. So this will be the size of the output image now let's define it np dot zeros and then we'll fill this value with original image this capital here okay so the image is 2d image right so we'll need two for loop for that one for row and one for column
তারপর কলাম ওকে নাও উইল ফিল দিস জিরো এরে উইথ ইনপুট ইমেজ so the only thing we did here is padding the image okay now we have our padded image which is n okay now let's again run the to for loop for 2d image and one for column again okay now we'll select the window size from the image here like this we'll select the window size from the image okay so if the image so if the kernel is 7 cross 7 in this case it was 3 cross 3 so we have selected 3 cross 3 window size but in our case we have 7 cross 7 uh, filter right so we'll select a 7 cross 7 window from the image okay so let's say the window is k okay and the padded image is n and from i to i plus the filter size means the filter size is 7 cross 7 so we are going to select a 7 cross 7 window size right so right here i to i plus filter size okay and same for j j to j plus f1 okay so here we have selected a window now we are going to compare the window with our kernel so let's say result is equal to k double equal to filter okay so here we'll get the answer in term of true or false so if all the values are true we'll put one otherwise zero okay so let me define final so if np dot all result is equal to true okay so this array will be in terms of true and false so if final then binary i j will be one else binary i j will be zero let's see the binary image so cv2 dot i am show final image and the binary image and write cv2 dot write key zero okay and let me comment this part also okay so here we have binary okay let's hit the run button so as you can see here the connectivity between two object is removed and i also told you that in erosion the boundary pixels reduced in some amount so here you can also see the hole is bigger compared to before that's all for erosion now the same thing will do for dilation okay so the only change is okay first let me change the image so i also image for dilation the dilation this all will be same yeah so in erosion we are comparing the image with kernel if all the components are match with yeah, the kernel then we say true okay so here instead all write any and let's see the output so you can see that this is the original image and this is the output image as i told you earlier the hole will be filled in dilation so as you can see that hole became smaller compared to before and also the bond between two objects become strong in dilation so here you can see that there wasn't any bond between two objects 
and here we have the bond okay that's it for dilation thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubts regarding code write us in email section or mail us we'll try our best to solve your problem